12 years to get permission to build something in San Diego that's been built how many times around the world? Well, there's 10,000 comparable plants operating around the world producing uh, roughly 10 billion gallons of water every day. 10,000 plants. And that technology used by most of those plants came from right here in San Diego. The reverse osmosis filters manufactured in Oceanside and Poway and here in the city of San Diego. Developed here in San Diego, made here in San Diego, <laughs> took 12 years to use it in San Diego. <laughs> this is an extraordinary story. I was telling you before we got on, I hope I'm still alive by the time we get, get to open this plant and get some water out of it. Well, the good news is we're well underway with construction. We uh, closed financing on the construction bonds on Christmas Eve. We gave notice to proceed to the contractor two days later. And December 28th, they mobilized. We're now fully engaged on construction on the desalination plant itself. And there's a 10-mile pipeline that will connect the plant to the San Diego County Water Authority's delivery system in San Marcos, the large diameter pipes that bring in our imported water. So that pipeline started construction last week. It will take uh, two years to finish the pipeline and just under three years to finish the, the desalination Total plant. Total investment from the private sector is? Uh, $922 million. Wow. Now, here's how it works. I, I thought we'd explain this a little bit because it's not well known how desal works. We talked about this in brief just a moment ago, but here's a little bit about how it works, and maybe you could walk us through this, or I think there's somebody talking on this. Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's, let's hear this. The desalination facility will produce 50 million gallons of drinking water every day using state-of-the-art reverse osmosis treatment technology manufactured in Southern California. The process will produce an annual supply that can serve 300,000 residents. The water is drawn from the seawater intake already used to cool the Encina power station and then through a four-stage filtration process that ends with the reverse osmosis system. The seawater is piped through a series of filters that remove impurities so small they can't be seen by the naked eye. A high pressure pump forces the filtered seawater into pressure vessels housing the reverse osmosis membranes. The membranes convert the filtered seawater into two streams of roughly equal proportions, ultra high quality drinking water and concentrated seawater. One out of every two gallons of seawater processed by the reverse osmosis system becomes ultra high quality fresh water. The other gallon of seawater contains the salt removed by the reverse osmosis process, which is then mixed with the seawater leaving the power station before it's returned to the ocean. The entire process takes about 20 minutes. Once purified and disinfected, the water will be pumped from the desalination facility to reservoirs serving municipalities throughout the region. Seems like this is the wave of the future to me, Peter. This is the way we've got to go. And, and, and as a matter of fact, as I'm thinking about all this, you're constructing all these things and that pipeline you talked about, this has got to be a lot of jobs. Well, we have um, employed today, three months after we started construction, over 200 folks on the job, both uh, the engineers that are designing the facilities and the contractors that are constructing the, the pipeline in the plant. When it's all said and done, there'll be a million hours of labor that'll be poured into this project. All of that work done here in the San Diego region, so of course that creates uh, other economic investment and stimulus. Sure, people are getting paid, they're going to pay the rent and, and all the rest of that, sure. So it's a great thing for the local economy to be able to put our water resources dollars to work here at home rather than send that money out of town and have water flow back. We're, we're putting our water investment in now, the jobs. How long will it take again to get this all done and the first glass of water come out the other end like we just saw in the video? November 2015 will be all, okay. all ready to go to have some new high quality drinking water supply from the ocean. And that actually is going to be higher quality than we're getting through the pipe from Colorado, isn't it? It's, it's com comparable to bottled water that you would find on the shelf in the grocery store. It's the finest quality water you're going to find in your tap in San Diego County. Now we won't be able to get that directly. They're going to mix it, aren't they, in that big pipe coming down? It'll be mixed with the other incoming supplies, but yeah. they all get incrementally better as a result. Now does that pipeline <coughs> then go down t uh, into the reservoirs? Where does that finally wind up? Just in the distribution networks? Well, we'll, we'll inject the water into the pipeline coming from Northern California and Colorado River and San Marcos. From there it will flow north five miles, north of Highway 78, and turn around and come back south in, a, in another pipeline that will serve essentially everybody living in the region south of Highway 78. Wow, okay, so we're really gonna get a pump up of, of, of locally supplied water 
rather than to be debating with LA and Northern California, the farmers of Central Valley about this diminishing supply of water. And most importantly, this supply is not dependent on snowpack or rainfall. So we have yeah. the largest reservoir in the world at our doorstep. Sitting it's right drought, out there. drought proof. It's truly, uh, <laughs> truly our first <laughs> drought proof supply, Roger. Now, when we get through with this, um, what percentage of the water's demand for that particular year is that going to meet? It will meet about 8% of the region's demand. All of the water goes to the San Diego County Water Authority. We finalized a 30-year agreement with the Water Authority in November where they'll purchase the entire output of the plant. They have the option to actually buy the facility 10 years after it goes into operation. If they don't exercise that option over the 30-year contract, then the uh, plant is turned over to the Water Authority for a dollar at the end of that 30-year term if they're ready to take on operations at that point. Now, with this finally being uh, uh, successfully underway, are there plans for any more of these? Because it seems to me 8% is good. I mean, we don't have to take 8% from some other place that maybe we have to fight about uh, with our neighbors, but uh, why isn't it a lot more? Well, at this point, we're going to focus our attention on getting this uh, plant to Carlsbad get up and running <laughs> and, and ensure it's successful, and we're, we're very excited about the opportunity. Any plans for any more? Well, uh, we're working on another facility up in Huntington Beach that's similar to Carlsbad, 50 million gallons per day of fresh water from the ocean. And that, process, that plant is still working its way through the, the state regulatory approval process. But we're well on our way and uh, hopeful that that will be equally successful as the Carlsbad facility is.